All right, so now we're ready to take it out. And we are done. Just to verify what I'm looking for here. These are really hot, but I have restaurant manager hands. I like it to where they are still blonde on the bottom, not too much browning. If it gets a little brown, it's okay, but you can see I like those to be very blonde. And remember, I moistened the bottom to get rid of any of that excess um, flour. Okay? So this is the color I, I look for in the Prospora. Uh, basically blonde, no brown, no darkness. So I take them over to the cooling rack. And I have a metal cooling rack under here, under this special towel that I uh, use only for only for cooling Prospora. want to have a special towel set aside, if you can at all help it, a special towel set aside that you only use for this purpose. I leave it right on the wax paper, uh, especially since I do that moistening step, which is, I know, probably a, a little unique. So I leave them right on the wax paper, that way it'll come off. I found that if I put them on, transfer them onto the towel, that they might stick a little bit because there is a little bit of residual moisture. That'll all dry very nicely, um, eventually. I leave these out, I cover these completely like this. Tuck it all up. And I use, then I can use a common towel. In this case, a delicious old beach towel. Um, to give it a little bit more cooling. Uh, slow down. Your goal is for the Prospora to cool as slowly as possible and that way it doesn't develop any sort of crust um, and uh, it'll, it'll, it'll not have any condensation, anything like that. So I will leave this out until tomorrow morning. Today's Saturday and if I wasn't taking it to church tomorrow then I would still leave it out all night long. I might tonight go ahead and put it in freezer bags if I was baking in the middle of the week. But um, since it's Saturday, tomorrow morning, this I'll offer this to the priest to be used for uh, for his commemorations and, and uh, for communion. And anything that he doesn't use, then I'll put those in individually wrapped um, bread bags. Let me talk about that real quick. I think I might have talked about it before, but pardon the messy door. But these individual bread bags or what I put four or five Prospora in, and then zip tie them, and then put them inside of a freezer bag, because they will um, be much less inclined. Again, condensation builds up in the freezer, and it's your enemy. If you're, if you're baking a lot of Prospora at once and storing it, that is definitely your enemy. So that's it. Thank you so much.